So hello students, a very good morning to all of you. So in the last video, we have discussed the uh, exercise two of parabola chapter, but I think uh, we were not able to cover all the questions. So uh, we are here today uh, with the remaining questions of that uh, exercise, that is uh, exercise two, and we will try to complete this exercise, right? So without wasting any time, uh, let's see the question. This is question number eight, means uh, we have covered up to uh, question number seven in our last video. Okay. So question is saying, prove that any three tangents to a, uh, to a parabola whose uh, slopes are in harmonic progression encloses a triangle of constant area. So uh, no parabola is given here. So we will take our standard uh, parabola that is y square is equal to 4ax. Okay. And we will solve this question. So uh, let me draw one rough sketch for uh, this. Sure. Let's take this as parabola. And uh, what we will do, we will draw uh, three tangents on this parabola, right? So uh, let's take uh, this tangent, okay? And uh, let's take this one. And we will draw one tangent on this side, okay? So uh, this is what we got this triangle ABC. Suppose I am naming it as this. Uh, this point as A, right? This point as A, this point as B, and this point as C. Okay. And this parabola, what we have taken, this parabola is y square is equal to 4a. Now the question is saying that uh, we have to prove that this uh, triangle will be of constant area. Okay. If the slopes of these tangents, okay slope of these tangents, this, uh, suppose I am taking this as uh, point P, okay, this point P on which we are drawing tangents, this uh, point as Q, okay, and uh, uh, this point as R on parabola, these points P, Q, R are on the parabola, okay. Now, the slope of this tangent at P1, tangent, uh, sorry, tangent at P, and uh, tangent at Q and tangent at R are in harmonic progression. Okay. So uh, uh, let me uh, take this P point as T1. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming the parametric points. Okay. So uh, the point uh, P as T1, the point uh, Q as T2. Okay. And uh, this R point as T3. What does it mean taking uh, this T1 as parametric uh, point means the coordinates of this P uh, will be a T1 square comma 2a T1. Similarly, the coordinates of Q will be a T2 square comma 2a T2 and this uh, T3 same a T3 uh, comma uh, a T3 square comma 2a T3. So uh, now what we will do. Uh, I will write the tangent at P, equation of tangent at P in parametric form. Okay, so uh, let me write it. Uh, so I am writing the tangent at P in parametric form. Okay. So uh, what it will be basically, it will be our uh, Ty, right? T1y, you can say. T1y is equal to uh, x plus a t1 square x plus a t1 square, right? And what will be uh, the equation of tangent at q? Equation of tangent at q will be t2y is equal to x plus a t2 square, okay? And what will be the equation of tangent at r? Similarly, this t3y plus uh, t3y is equal to t3y is equal to our uh, x plus a t3 square. Hope this is clear to all. Now what I will do, uh, like we have to find the area of triangle ABC, right? So uh, basically we need to have the coordinates of these points. If uh, uh, we are, uh, we will have the coordinates of this A, B and C, then uh, we can, we can easily find that area. Okay. 
So uh, for finding the coordinates of this ABC, what we have to do, um, basically this point A, this point A is the intersection of tangent at T1 and tangent at T3. Okay. So for solving, for having the coordinate of A, we have to solve this tangent at P, tangent at P and tangent at R. Okay. So uh, let me uh, solve these two equations so that we can have the uh, coordinates of A. Okay. So uh, let me name it as equation one, equation two, and this as equation three. So uh, I will do one minus three. Okay. Equation one minus equation three. Then what uh, will I have? It will be basically y, okay, uh, t1 minus t3, t1 minus t3 is equal to, this x will be uh, cancelled out and uh, we will have a times t1 square minus t3 square. So it will be a t1 minus t3 into t1 plus t3. I think it is uh, okay to all of you. Okay, now this t1 minus t3 term will get cancelled out and we'll, we will have the y coordinate of a as this uh, a into t1 plus t3. Is it okay? This is the y coordinate of a. Okay, now uh, putting this value in equation 1, put in equation 1. We will put the equation uh, value of this y in equation 1. We will have t1, t1 into y means a into uh, t1 plus t3, right? A into t1 plus t3 is equal to uh, this x plus a t1 squared. Now from here, if you see a t1 squared uh, plus a t1 t3 is equal to x plus a t1 squared. Okay, this x a t1 squared, uh, a t1 squared, a t1 squared will get cancelled out and our x coordinate of a will be a into t1 into t3. So uh, this is the coordinate of our point A, right? This is the coordinate of our point A. So let me divide this board. So we got the coordinate of A as, we got the coordinate of A as what? This A T1 T3, A T1 T3 comma uh, A T1 plus T3, A T1 plus T3. So I would request all of you uh, to remember this basically. Uh, if we can remember this, it uh, usually makes our task easy while solving the question. Okay, so whenever uh, uh, two tangents at point, uh, two tangents of parabola meet at any certain point, the coordinates of it will be A times the parametric, uh, this T1 into T3 and A times t1 plus t3. Its x coordinate is given as this a t1 t3 and y coordinate is a t1 plus t3. So now what will be the coordinate of b based on this, uh, this analysis? What will be the coordinate of b? It is the basically the intersection of tangent at q and uh, p, right? So t1, t2 are the parameters. So basically the coordinates of b will be a into t1 into t2 and the y coordinate will be a into t1 plus t2. Is it okay? And what will be the coordinates of c? It is the uh, meeting point of tangents at r and q means t2 and t3 are involved. So it will be a into t, t2 into t3. Okay. And uh, the y coordinate will be a into t2 plus t3. So from here, we got the coordinates of this A, B and C. Okay. Now, one more thing is given in the question. If you observe, like uh, the tangents, okay, the tangents at this uh, P, Q, R, their slopes are in harmonic progression, right? Their slopes are in harmonic progression. So what is the slope here? Slope of this, slope of this is 1 upon T1. Right, 1 upon t1. We have to divide by t1, no? So, uh, its slope is 1 by t1. Its slope is 1 by t2. 
1 by t2 and uh, its slope is its slope is suppose i am taking a slope of p tangent at p this as q and this as uh, r so its uh, slope is 1 by t3 now as per question as per question this 1 by uh, t1 okay and 1 by t2 and 1 by t3 these slopes are in hp what does it mean we can say this t1 okay this t1 t2 and t3 are in ap okay so uh, uh, we will use this information further in the question so uh, let's now focus to this triangle abc right area of triangle abc so if you see area of triangle abc area of triangle abc how can we give this uh, how can we get this uh, area it will be x1 y1 solving this determinant x2 uh, y2 1 and x3 y3 where the x1 uh, y1 x2 uh, y2 and x3 y3 are the coordinates of the vertices of the triangle okay so now let's put the value of x1 y1 so what is our first coordinate like suppose i am taking this a so this will be basically a uh, t1 t3 a t1 t3 its y coordinate is a times t1 plus t3 okay one then uh, a times t1 t2 a times t1 plus t2 one and this will be a times t2 t3 a times t2 plus t3 okay and one now we have to uh, solve this determinant okay we have to solve this determinant how to solve we can basically what we can do we will try to make uh, as much zeros as possible so i will do one operation okay what i will do i will do operation on this r1 by r1 minus r2 and i will do one operation on this r3 so r3 minus r2 and we will uh, keep this r2 unchanged okay so let's see uh, what uh, this determinant is coming out to be so basically it will be uh, r1 minus r2 no so a t1 a t1 will be common right a t1 will be common t3 minus t2 t3 minus t2 and from here if you see uh, a t3 a t1 a t3 so a t1 will get cancelled out it will be a times t3 minus t2 okay t3 minus t2 and uh, this position will be zero okay and we are uh, not disturbing this row two so let it be as it is a t1 t2 a t1 plus t2 okay and one and uh, this thing will be r3 minus r2 no so a uh, a t2 will be common right a r3 minus r2 okay so a t2 will be common what will be left out t3 minus t1 t3 minus t1 similarly here if you see uh, a t2 will get cancelled out it will be a times t3 uh, t3 minus t1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0. Now we will expand this matrix by this third column. Expanding by third column. So what will happen? If we expand it uh, on third column, okay. So uh, this will uh, coming out to be this, uh, what you say, 0 into some uh, 2 by 2 matrix, it will be get, uh, it will be cancelled out since we are multiplying by 0 and this minus 1 uh, what is its position i uh, the second row and third column so minus 1 will be there minus 1 will be there and we will be left out this with these two matrix that is uh, a t1 t3 minus t2 okay and this uh, element a t3 uh, minus t2 and this thing a t2 t3 minus t1 okay and uh, this will be a into t3 minus t1 okay so on expanding this we will get the get the area of the triangle 
So uh, let's see how can we do it. So this will be a minus sign. Okay, let it be as it is. We have to multiply this no AD minus BC, right? This and this. So uh, what we can do uh, A square, it will be basically A square. A square T1, A square T1 and uh, T3 minus T2 into T3 minus T1 we are getting, right? So uh, basically T3 minus T2. Okay, let me uh, first multiply it. A square T1, then T3 uh, minus T2 into uh, T3 minus T1, okay, and uh, minus of A square, minus of A square T2, A square T2 into this thing, T3 minus T2 into T3 minus T1. And uh, this whole thing will be with one negative sign. Is it okay? Yes. So uh, let's see what we are getting. Mm. T3 minus T2 and T3 minus T1. So we are getting this uh, thing completely common, right? We are getting this A square. Okay, let me put first negative sign. And uh, this A square. And T3 minus T2, T3 uh, minus T2, T3 minus T1. We are getting this common from both the terms, right? So what we are left out with uh, this uh, T1, okay, T1 minus T2, T1 minus T2, okay? So basically, what we got this T3 minus T2, into T3 minus T1. Okay, it is representing a D basically. If you see here, this T1, T2, T3 are in AP, no? So uh, we can say the common difference of this AP will be T2 minus T1. Or we can say it will be same as T3 minus T2. Is it okay? So let's put this as a D in terms of common difference. So it will be a minus of A square into T3 minus T2 is D. So into D, T3 minus T1, T3 minus T1. So T3 minus T1 will be basically 2D, right? Two times of common difference and T1 minus T2. T1 minus T2 will be minus of T. It will be minus of T. Is it okay? So uh, what we got, okay, this whole thing will be multiplied by half also. Okay, uh, while writing the area, I have forgot it. This will be half of this determinant. Okay. This will be half of this determinant. So I am just taking this thing. I have solved this thing. So this let me take it as D. Uh, sorry, uh, delta. So I am solving delta and then I will multiply. So this area will be basically, this area will be basically half of this delta. Uh, half of delta means what? Uh, this will be half of this is our delta, no? So uh, a square into a square into two times d cube. This minus and minus will get cancelled out. So it will be two times d cube into a square. So this two and two will get cancelled out. We got the area of triangle as a square into d cube. So it is basically constant. This is constant, no? A square into a d cube. So this is what we were required to prove. So hence, uh, uh, we got that the tangents drawn at three points on this parabola. Okay. And the uh, like area of triangle formed by the intersection of these three tangents it will have a constant area, will have a constant area. Okay. So basically, this is uh, not dependent on these parameters T1, T2, and T3. Okay, no? So that's why the area of this triangle will be constant. So uh, it's this question is a bit lengthy, but uh, we learned a lot. Like uh, we got uh, to know the how to point uh, find the, this intersection point of 
tangents. Then after that, we applied the formula of finding the area of triangle ABC in determinant form. Okay, so I think we are done with this. Let's uh, take the next question, question number nine. Okay. So uh, it is saying a chord of parabola y square is equal to 4ax subtends a right angle at the vertex. Find the locus of the point of intersection of tangents at its extremities. So uh, parabola is given y square is equal to 4ax. Okay. So this is our parabola. Subtends and one chord is there. One chord is there. Let me uh, name it as PQ. Okay. Uh, so this chord is subtending a right angle at the vertex. This chord is subtending a right angle at the vertex. So uh, let me draw the axis of parabola first. Okay. So this is our axis of parabola, and this chord is subtending a right angle on the vertex. Okay. So, this will be basically, this will be our right angle. Okay. Now uh, find the locus of the point of intersection of the tangents at its extremities. What does it mean? We have to draw tangent also at these points. So uh, let me draw, let me draw this tangent at this point and uh, also at this point. Okay. So, hope this uh, sketch is clear to all. Okay, let me explain first. This is our chord PQ. Okay, we have drawn this chord PQ. This chord PQ is subtending a right angle at the vertex. This is our vertex of the parabola, whose coordinates will be 0, 0, since the uh, parabola we are taking is of the form y square is equal to 4x. This is our standard parabola only. Now, we have drawn the uh, tangents at uh, the extremities of this chord means we have drawn the tangents at point P and point Q. Okay. Now uh, we have to find the point locus of this point of intersection. So let me say these two tangents meet at point M whose coordinates are H comma K. Now we have to find the locus of this point M. Okay. So uh, let me take this point P as T1 in parametric form and this point Q as T2. Okay. Now in the last question, we have already seen that the tangents at point P and point Q. Okay. When we draw tangents at point P and point Q, they intersect at what? A, T1, T2. If you see in this question, what we have done, what is the intersection point? This A T1 T3 and A T1 plus T3. So this is what I'm going to uh, show here. Means this is what I'm going to write here. So basically the coordinates of M will be, the coordinates of M will be A times T1 T2. Okay, A times T1 T2 comma A times T1 plus T2. Okay, this will be the coordinates of M. Okay, this is uh, representing our H and this is representing our K. Okay, so uh, basically we got the coordinates of this uh, M. Now one information what is given here, the slope of this, right? The slope of this PQ or we can say PV, the slope of PV into slope of uh, VQ is equal to minus one. Means since both are perpendicular, this PV and P, uh, VQ are perpendicular, the slope of their product of slope will be, product of their slope will be minus one. Now, what will be the product of this? Uh, what will be the slope of PV? Okay, this, what is this point uh, T1? This is nothing but uh, P is A T1 square comma 2A T1. And this Q is uh, A T2 square comma 2A T2. So basically slope of PV will be 2AT1, 2AT1 upon AT1 square into, this will be 2AT2 into, uh, sorry, by AT2 square. Is it okay? This will be equal to minus 1. So this AA will ca cancelled out. This T1, T1, T2, T2 will get cancelled out. 
from here we got t1 t2 is equal to minus of 4 right from here we got t1 into t2 is equal to minus 4 now how can we utilize this information this is our h coordinate of m okay so our h if you see h is uh, equal to a times t1 t2 okay from here we got this okay and uh, this is our k coordinate so uh, i don't think we require this k coordinate this uh, y coordinate we don't need so this h is equals to h is equals to a into we got the value of t1 t2 is minus 4 okay so h is equals to minus 4 a now for writing locus what we do we replace this h by x so this uh, we will uh, replace this h by x and we will got x plus 4a is equal to z. This will be the required locus, right? This will be our required locus of this is the required locus of the point of intersection of these two tangents. Okay. So this information we uh, got from the last question, but this is what I am saying. It's better to uh, remember like uh, when tangents at this point uh, P and Q intersect, they, the coordinates of that intersecting point will be this A T1 T2 comma A T1 plus T2. So this will make our life easier. So I think this is done. Uh, let's say the next question. Uh, find the equation of the normal to the parabola y square is equal to 4x. Okay. So we have to write the equation of the normal to this parabola y square is equal to 4x okay which is parallel to this line and which is perpendicular to this given line so uh, basically we are having this parabola y square is equal to 4x okay and uh, we have to the given line i am doing this part a the given line is uh, y minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Is it okay? y minus 2x plus 5 equal to 0. Now uh, we have to write the equation of normal. We have to write the equation of normal which is parallel to this. Which is parallel to this. Okay. This is our uh, first part of the question and uh, the, the second part is basically let me bifurcate this screen. So, and uh, the second part is saying we have to write the equation of normal which is perpendicular to this line. So the line given line is 2x plus 6 ohm plus 5 equal to 0 and we have to write the equation of Okay. So if you see, uh, if you see equation of normal, no, we have to write equation of normal here which is parallel to this line so equation of normal on this parable on this parable okay y square is equal to 4ax form so from here we got uh, this a is equal to 1 okay this a is coming out to be 1 so in slope form if you see in slope form uh, we uh, write the equation of normal as y is equal to mx okay minus 2am minus amq okay this is uh, the equation of normal which we write on the parabola of the form y square is equal to 4ax okay in slope uh, form why I'm writing in slope form? If you see, we know the slope of this tangent. Uh, uh, sorry, we know the uh, slope of the normal. Why? Because the slope of this line, suppose, what is the slope of this line? Uh, y is equal to 2x minus 5. So, slope of this line is 2, right? Slope of this line is 2. So, uh, slope of normal, slope of normal should also be 2. Slope of normal should also be 2. Okay, so we can uh, say this value of m will be equal to 2. Okay, so what will be our equation of normal? Our equation of normal will be replace, uh, like put the value of 2 in place of m. So it will be 2x, okay, 
minus 2 a. What is a? a is 1 here in this case. So 2 into m, m means what? 2 and uh, minus 1 m cube, right? This will be 2 ka cube, okay? So we got the equation of normal as 2x, y is equal to 2x minus 4 minus 8 means minus 2. This will be our required equation of normal, right? Now, uh, this is the this is the equation of normal which is parallel to this line. Now we have to again write the equation of normal which is perpendicular to this given line in second uh, part of this question. Okay. So we will apply the same approach here also. Like uh, in slow form, how we write the equation of normal for this parabola y square is equal to 4x. Same y is equal to mx minus 2am minus 2am minus of am cube. Okay. Now, if you see what is slope of this line, slope of this line, this is basically if you uh, rewrite it as 6y is equal to minus 2x minus 5. Okay. So our y will be equal to uh, minus 1 by 3x and minus 5 by 6. Okay, so the slope of this line, slope of this line is coming out to be minus of 1 by 3. Is it okay? Slope of this line, 2x plus 6y, no? So uh, 6y, we can write it as minus 2x minus 5. So minus 1 by 3. So uh, what we got, slope of this line is minus 1 by 3. So our slope of normal, our, our slope of normal should be, slope of normal should be 3, right? Because the product of these uh, two slopes should be equal to minus 1. So we got the slope of normal to be 3. So I will put this value in this equation. So our y will become, our equation of normal will become 3, uh, m, x means what? 3x. Uh, minus 2 times m means 3 and minus m cube, m cube will be what? 27 means 3 ka cube. So it will be y is equal to 3x minus 33. Okay. So this will be the required equation of normal. Now, uh, some student uh, might say like why you are writing in uh, the equation of normal in this slow form. Anyway, if you uh, wish to write it in a uh, parametric form, then also your result will be same also, same only. Okay. So uh, no need to worry on that. Uh, you can write the equation in whatever uh, format or in whatever uh, way you wish. There, there will be no uh, disturbance on the final answer. Okay. We are going to get the same answer from all the ends. So suppose if you see, suppose if you see, uh, if we write it in parametric form, okay. So this is our in slow form. This was in slow form, okay. This was the equation in slow form. Let me write it in uh, parametric form, okay. I'm just doing uh, to show you that there will be no effect on the uh, final answer. So how we write the equation of normal in uh, parametric form? It's basically tx plus y is equal to uh, 80 cube, 280 plus 80 cube, right? 280 plus 80 cube. If I'm not wrong, this is the equation of normal in parametric form. Okay. So from here, if you see our y will be equal to a minus of 2x uh, plus 280 plus 80 cube. Okay. So the what is here minus t means minus t is the slope here slope here and that is equal to what is the slope 2 so from here we got t is equal to minus 2 right so put this in this equation so put this value in this equation we will get uh, this uh, minus 2x plus y is equals to 2t means minus 2 and uh, t cube means plus or minus 2 ka cube. So from here we get uh, what y is equal to 2x okay and uh, minus 4 
minus 4 and minus 8. Minus 12. So see, both answers are coming out to be same. So it's your wish. Okay. It's your uh, wish. You can write it in slope form or parametric form as per your wish. Similarly, you can write the equation for this also. So I think this question is done. So let's move to the next one. Question number 11. It is saying the ordinates of point P and Q on the parabola this are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Okay. The ordinates of point P and Q on the parabola y square is equal to 12x are in the ratio 1 is to 2. Find the locus of the point of intersection of the normals to the parabola at P and Q. Okay. So basically, uh, when parabola is given here, y square is equal to 12x. So, oh, okay. Uh, let me assume this as parabola. So, uh, and we are dropping, we are having normals, right? Normals at P and Q. So, let me draw. So, suppose this is our point P, this is our point Q. We have drawn normal at this and they are meeting at some point. Now, we have to find the locus of the point of intersection of normals. Okay. Okay. So, uh, basically, this is the axis of the parabola. Okay. And uh, this is our point uh, P. This is our point P and this is our point Q. And both, uh, we have drawn normals at this point P and Q. And both these normals are meeting at point M, suppose. Okay. And we have to find the locus of this point M. Right now? Find the locus of the point of intersection of the normals to the parabola at P and Q. We have to find the locus of this point M. And this parabola is basically y square is equal to 12x. So comparing with the standard form, we get the value of A as 3 here. Right? The value of A is 3 here. <clears throat> and one more information is given here. The ordinates of the point P and Q are in the ratio 1 is to 2. What does it mean? Suppose I am taking this point P as, I am taking point P as A T1 square. Okay. A T1 square comma 2 A T1. And I am taking uh, this point Q as A T2 square comma 2 A T2. Is it okay? We can uh, take it in parametric form. So as per given information in the question, the ordinates means what this 2 a t1 the ordinate of this point p and q their ratio are one is their ratio is 1 is to 2 so basically this 2 a t1 upon 2 a t2 is given out to be 1 is to 2 what does it mean this 2 a 2 a will be cancelled out we got the value of t2 as we got the value of t2 as 2 times t1 is it okay we got the value of T2 as 2 times T1. Right? And uh, the parabola is given as y square is equal to 12x. So, uh, from this information, we segregated this. Okay, that the uh, T2 is equal to 2 times T1. We have to find the locus of the point of intersection. We have to find the locus of the point of intersection of the normals to the parabola this. So how can we do that? How can we do that? We can write the equation of normal from point P. Okay. That uh, one thing we can do. Or uh, find the locus of the point of intersection of the normals. So this T2 is given out to be 2 times T1. How can we proceed? Mm -hmm. We can write the equation of this PM and QM also. And uh, all right, uh, we can take the intersection point. That way also we can proceed. Right now. 
so uh, what i am thinking let me draw the equation of let me uh, write the equation of this pm so pm right can we write the equation of pm yes definitely we can write it will be uh, basically uh, in parametric form i am writing the equation of normal okay so this will be basically tx plus y is equal to 2at1 right 2at1 plus at1 cube and uh, we can write the equation of this qms uh, okay this will be t1x so this will be q2 will be uh, qm will be t2x plus y okay is equal to 2a t2 plus a plus a t2 q hope i am writing the correct correct one so this will be the equation of these two normals okay now what i will do i will solve these equations okay to find this uh, intersecting point m so I will subtract this one minus two. This two will be basically t one minus x times t uh, one minus t two will be two a t one minus t two and then plus a times t one cube t one cube minus t two cube. Is it okay? Yeah, I think we are going. In the right way, so x times t one minus t two will be two a t one minus t two. Now open this. This will be a and uh, a cube minus b cube means what? T one minus t two. Then uh, t one is square plus t two is square and plus t one t two. Is it okay? Now I will. Uh, we can take the complete common from here. This. X into T one minus T two. This T one minus T two is common from the both terms, so it will be two a okay two a plus a times uh, this thing T one is square plus T two is square plus T one T two. So this T one minus T two will get cancelled out. What we uh, get is okay. We also know the value of a, so we can put here. So x will be equal to basically x will be equal to six. Two into three will it will be six plus three times. Okay, this t two we can write it as two times t one. So this thing will become okay. Let me write it once again. So six plus three into this t one is square plus t two is square can be uh, written as we can write it as four times t one is square. Is it okay? And uh, this thing will become t one into t two means uh, two times t one square, two times t one square. So uh, I have written all the thing in terms of t one only. So this will be x minus six upon three will be equal to one five, one five to seven into twenty one, right? Or you can write it as. X minus six upon three, no, is equal to seven times t one square. Is it okay? Or from here we can let it be as it is. X minus six upon three is equal to seven t one square. Now, uh, this is what this is the x coordinate. Okay, means h. This is equal to h. Okay, so basically. Uh, This is the x coordinate. This is nothing but our h, what we have considered, what we have considered h. So this is our x. And uh, one more thing we can say. Now, since we got this value of x, we can uh, have the value of y also, right? Can have the value of y also. So let me put that in here. So let us simplify this. Okay, it's no need to write in this form. What I will do? Uh, I will write this x as I will write this x as six plus. Okay, six plus 
seven T one is square, no? So twenty one T one is square. This is what the x coordinate, and this is nothing but equal to as per our assumption. We have considered the intersection point coordinates as h comma q. Now I will put this value of x in this equation one. Put this value in equation one. What we got this t one into six plus twenty one t one square. Okay, uh, plus y is equal to two t one to a t one means uh, a is three. No, so this will be basically six t one. And two t one q plus two t one q. I hope is it uh, it is clear to all. So uh, this will be basically six t one. So this six t one six t one will get cancelled out, and we will be left out with twenty one t one q. Twenty one times t one q plus y is equal to two t one q. Okay. So from here we got this value of y as uh, minus nine t. Right. So two t one q, and uh, this thing will be have. Have we put the value correctly? The x will be six plus twenty one t one square. So this six t one will get cancelled out, and uh, no no no. This will be three. No, the value of a is three. So what I have, why I have written here two? It will be three basically. It will be three. So, uh, if you observe, we found the value of y as found the value of y as uh, minus of eighteen t one q minus of eighteen t one q. Okay, and this is nothing but uh, our k. So we have to find this value uh, locus of m. No, so we have to replace this. Means we have to remove this parameter t one from this equations of x and y. So how we can do? If you see, from here we can say, from here we can say, t one, t one is equal to x minus six upon twenty one, ka under root, right? And we will uh, put this value here. We will put this value here. So what we will get? We will get y is equal to uh, minus of eighteen times t one cube, no? So t one is what? Or we can simply write it as we can write it as uh, in, in this fashion also. Like uh, from here we get t one cube. T one cube is equal to uh, minus of y upon eighteen. This is what we got. Now uh, put the value of t one here, so it will be x minus six upon twenty one. Okay, the power three uh, by two. This will be equal to minus y upon eighteen. Okay. So from here, if you see, uh, I will square it. Okay. So on squaring, if you see, on squaring we will get x minus c, x minus six uh, upon twenty one whole cube. Okay, I am squaring it. It will be equal to y square upon eighteen k square. Is it okay? So on squaring this uh, two in the denominator, we get cancelled out. Okay. So this is what we got. So basically, this will be our equation of locus. This will be locus, right? No, this will be our locus. So if you wish, you can uh, simplify it. How can we simplify this x minus six the whole cube? Okay, upon uh, this twenty one into twenty one into twenty one, this will be equal to y square upon eighteen into eighteen. Is it okay? So uh, by three we can cancel it. This will go six times. This will go seven times. Again, this will go six times. This will go seven times. Okay. Then uh, this will go two times. This will go seven times. So finally, this will be our answer. This x minus six whole cube. Okay. A whole divided upon what is left out? Seven into seven into seven. 
that is 49 into 7 and this will be equal to y square upon this will be equal to y square upon uh, 6 into 2 that is 12. So hope this is clear to all. Okay. This will be our required locus. <clears throat> so yeah. Now let's see the next question. It is given here. Okay. Question number 12. The normals at P, Q, R on the parabola y square is equal to 4ax meet in a point on line y equal to c. Okay. So the normal set PQR prove that the sides of triangle PQR touches the parabola x square is equal to 2 cy. Means uh, this is based on the concept of our co-normal points because we are uh, drawing normal set three points this uh, PQR and these three normals are meeting at one point like they are intersecting at a common point. So uh, let's try to make a rough sketch for this. Okay. So this is our parabola. Okay. And uh, let me assume this to be axis. And uh, we are drawing what? Three normals. No? So this is one normal, this is second normal, and this is our third normal. Assume it in this way. So this is our point P, okay. This is our point Q, and uh, this is our point R. And let me assume they are meeting at point this N. So the normal set P, Q, and R, and this is our parabola y square is equal to 4ax. So the normal set these three points meet in a point on the line y is equal to c. Okay. So this line basically. Don't uh, we can uh, draw it manually only. So basically, this is our point y equal to c. This is our point. This uh, the y coordinate of this will lie on y is equal to c. Okay. And uh, prove that the sides of the triangle PQR PQR. Okay, now we have to draw one triangle also. So let me draw it. P Q R. So the question is asking for this triangle P Q R. Okay. We have to prove the sides of this triangle P Q R touch the parabola x square is equal to 2 C. Means anyhow, we can if we can prove that uh, for this parabola x square is equal to 2 cy this uh, side of this triangle is tangent we can say yeah the sides of triangle pqr touches the parabola same thing we are uh, approaching uh, in that uh, in that way so what we can do here so if you see if you see the coordinates of this m let me assume it as uh, what h comma k but h comma c because its y coordinate is lying on this c y equal to c so h comma c will be the uh, coordinates of this m okay so uh, we can write the equation of normal in slope form what is that uh, y equal to mx uh, minus 2am minus 2am okay minus of am q okay now this will pass through this point m right no this is uh, intersecting at point m so the coordinates of this point m must satisfy it so uh, this will be equal to c is equal to m into h right mh uh, minus 2am minus am q Okay, so let me make it as a cubic in M. Okay, so this will be A M Q. Okay, and then uh, this 2A minus H. 2A minus H into M. I'm bringing all the things on the left hand side. So A M Q. Uh, 
plus 2am minus mh plus c plus c is equals to 0. Is it okay? Now, actually, this is a cubic in m which will have three roots, which will have three roots. Let me assume the roots to be this m1, m2, and m3. Okay. So what does it mean? This mean that the slope of this PM, the slope of this tangent PM is M1. The slope of this uh, tangent, sorry, normal, uh, normal MQ is M2. And the slope of uh, normal MR is basically M3. Is it okay? Now, since the coefficient of M square is missing in this cubic uh, equation, we can say the sum of the roots of this uh, cubic, this M1 plus M2, plus m3 will be equal to 0, right? And what will be the product of roots? The product of roots will be m1, m2, m3, and that will be equal to minus c upon m, minus c upon m. Okay, one more relation we have, m1, m2, plus m2, m3. So that also we can write this m1, m2, plus m2, m3, and plus m3 m1 that will be equal to 2a minus h 2a minus h upon 1. So these three relations we got from this cubic. Okay. Now what I will do, <coughs> we will write the equation of any of the sides of parabola. Uh, sorry, any of the sides of this triangle PP. So let me write the equation of this PP. Okay. Let me uh, write the equation of this PQ. So um, basically, uh, how can we write this? Uh, we know the coordinates of this point P and Q. Right now, we know the coordinates of point P and Q. What is that? The coordinates of P is, uh, what is the parabola? It is y square is equal to 4ax. No? So it will be a m1 square. Okay, we are assuming the slope to be m1. Okay, so a m1 square uh, minus of 2 a m. This will be the coordinates of p. And what will be the coordinates of q? It will be a m2 square, comma, minus 2 a m2. Okay, so these will be the coordinates of p and q. So easily we can write the equation of pq. So this will be y minus y1 y minus 1 means y minus y1 is equal to this uh, y1 minus y2 2 minus 2a m1 then uh, minus 2a m2 that will be minus minus with gil plus and this will be a m1 square a m1 square minus a m2 square and x minus x1. That is x minus a m1 is Is it okay? So from here we get y plus 2 times a m1. This will be equal to if we take this 2a thing common. What we will get? Uh, m2 minus m1. m2 minus m1. Right? And from here we get uh, m1 minus m2 m1 minus m2 and m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 so basically if you take minus 2a common from here so it will become m1 minus m2 so it's better to do in that way so that this m1 and m2 term will get cancelled out m1 minus m2 and this will be whole multiplied by x minus a m1 square so this m1 minus m2 terms gets cancelled out and we are left with, okay, this A will also get cancelled out. And uh, we will, we are left out with Y into M1 plus M2. Okay. And this thing multiplied by uh, this M1 plus M2 means what? 2A M1 square. 2A M1 square plus 2A M1 M2. And that will be equal to minus of 2X. Uh, minus of 2x plus 2a m1 square 2a m1 square again this 2a m1 square will, term will get cancelled out 
So finally, we got y into m1 plus m2. Okay. Uh, then uh, this thing plus 2a m1 m2 and plus 2x is equal to 0. Okay. Now, what I will do, I will do one manipulation here. Like, uh, we know the value of this m1 plus m2 plus m3, right? And uh, we know the value of this product also, m1 into m2 into m3. So, we will utilize these two informations. What I will do, I will do this y m1 plus m2. I will add one m3 and I will subtract one m3. Okay. And here, I will multiply and divide by m3. Hope this is uh, clear to all. And I will remain this as it is. So plus 2x is equal to 0. What will be benefit of this? This thing. This thing is equal to 0, right? And we know the value of this thing as minus c by a. Minus c by a. So we will put it. So it will basically become y into uh, minus m3. Okay. And uh, this will become 2a upon m3. 2a upon m3 into minus c by a. So this a term a will cancel out. And we will have plus 2x is equal to 0. Now, if you observe this, so if you observe this, okay, it will be a quadratic in M3. How? Let's take uh, this M3 uh, common, uh, sorry, M3 LCM. So this will be minus y into m3 square, right? Minus y into m3 square. And what is left out here? Uh, a got cancelled. No? So minus 2c. Okay. So minus 2c and uh, plus 2x m3. Plus 2x m3 is equal to 0. So we got the quadratic in m3. How? This will be y into m3 square and uh, minus 2x m3 plus 2c is equal to 0. This is the quadratic in m3. Okay. Now, uh, if anyhow, this is the equation of pq. No? We are uh, writing the equation of p3. Okay. So, if anyhow, we can prove that uh, uh, like uh, this is the equation of pq so this pq i have to prove this pq to be tangent to this uh, given parabola right okay so for this line for this line to be tangent on that parabola uh, it should have a, a single value of m3 okay single value of m3 that means the determinant of this should be the determinant of this quadratic should be equal to zero so what will be determinant so this will be basically b square means this 4x square b square minus 4 times a what is a uh, y into c what is c c is 2c. This must be equal to 0. So from here we got 4x square is equal to 8yc. Or we can say x square is equal to this thing 2yc. 2yc. Okay. This was the equation of uh, uh, parabola. So basically we, uh, we uh, find out the equation of this pq means one side of the parabola. Okay sorry, one side of this triangle PQR. And we have put uh, D equal to zero because we have to make this line as the tangent to that uh, parabola. So on solving this D equal to zero, we got this equation of parabola. What does it mean? This line is uh, a tangent to this parabola. So this is what we were uh, required to, we were asked to prove. So we can say hence this proved. Hence it is proved. 
hope uh, this is clear to all so these are some uh, lengthy questions but we are having some good concepts uh, in these questions right and this question was based on this four normal points concept so uh, i think this is this one is the last question so let's finish it the normals are drawn from uh, point this to the parabola y square is equal to 4x so that lambda must be uh, greater than 1 okay so this is one uh, thing which is asked in the question and further it is saying one normal is always the x axis and find lambda for which the other two normals are perpendicular to each other so uh, this question is also based on that concept of co normal points only so let me draw one rough sketch so this is our uh, parabola y square is equal to 4x and uh, let me zoom this to be our axis and we are drawing three normals right we are drawing three normals to it so basically three normals here we should have three normals so this should be three normals instead of normals three normals are drawn from this okay so now what we will do we will uh, uh, draw the normals okay so this is our first normal this is our second one and this is the third one okay and uh, let me zoom these points at pqr so this is our point p this is our point q and this is our point r and let me assume this point as m now uh, its coordinates are given what two lambda comma zero from this point we have drawn three normals to the parabola whose equation is y square is equal to 4x okay so from here we got a is equal to 1 so this we will uh, utilize whenever required so the coordinates of this m is 2 lambda comma 0 the parabola is y square is equal to 4x now what the question is saying so that the lambda must be greater than 1 okay so for drawing means for having three normals on parabola from this three uh, point m the x coordinate of m that is this 2 lambda that this 2 lambda must be greater than a okay this 2 lambda must be greater than a okay or uh, what is the x coordinate of this point m h must be uh, for if you see for a standard parabola for a standard parabola this y square is equal to 4x okay and uh, we need to draw three normals from a given point so this h must be greater than 2a this is the condition for this parabola okay means coordinate of x means uh, x coordinate of this point m okay so not this thing not this thing this h must be greater than a okay so uh, basically this will be what is h in this case h is equals to 2 lambda here okay h is equals to 2 lambda so basically this 2 lambda must be greater than 2a and what is a a is 1 so this 2 lambda must be greater than 2 a is equal to we have shown here so this lambda must be greater than 1 for having three norms this lambda must be greater than 1 for three normals so this was the first part of the question now what it is saying next it is saying uh, one normal is always the x axis one normal is always the x axis so uh, first let me uh, write the equation of normal so we can write the equation of normal in slope form as y is equal to mx okay uh, minus 2am minus am cube this is what we have done in the earlier question also so now this is point passing through point this 2 lambda comma 0 okay so it should it should satisfy so this will be 0 equal to 2 lambda m 2 lambda m uh, what is a a is uh, 1 so 2 lambda m minus 2 m minus m cube or we can simply write it as m cube uh, m cube plus 2 minus 2 lambda right plus 2 minus 2 lambda into m is equal to 0 so from here we can take m common from 
both the terms and we will have m square plus 2, 2 minus 2 lambda is equal to 0. So from here we get m is equal to 0 or m square plus 2 minus 2 lambda will be equal to 0. So here you observe this is a cubic in m. So as I already uh, told you, as I already told you, the slope of this PM will be M1, the slope of QM will be M2, and the slope of RM will be M3, right? So one of the slopes, one of the slopes is zero. One of the slopes is zero. What does it mean? One of the normal will be, one normal will be always x-axis. So one normal will be always x-axis, will be always x-axis. In drawing, it is uh, not evident, but uh, this is the rough sketch, you know. So one normal will always be x-axis. Okay, so this second part is also true. Now, what is a uh, question is asking in the third part? It is saying, find lambda for which the other two normals are perpendicular to each other. So like uh, other two normals have to be perp perpendicular to each other. So from here, if you see, this is quadratic here. Okay, so this is quadratic here. M square is equal to M square plus 2 minus 2 lambda. Okay, this is equal to 0. This is what we got here. Okay, so uh, what will be the product of roots? Suppose I am taking this as M1. Okay, I am taking this as M1. So uh, our M2, uh, the roots of this I am assuming as M2 into M3. So the product of roots will be basically minus of uh, C by A. That will be nothing but minus of 2 minus 2 lambda by 1, right? Now, uh, the question is asking to find lambda for which these two normals are perpendicular. Means this should be equal to minus 1 as per question, right? So uh, it means this minus 1 must be equal to minus of 2 minus 2 lambda, right? So this minus and minus get uh, cancelled out. We got 2 lambda is equal to 3. From here, we got lambda is equal to 3 by 2. Okay. For this value of lambda, we will be having the rest two normals to be perpendicular to each other. We have applied this, that condition here. This M2 into M3, the slope of both those normals will be equal to product of uh, the slope of their normals will be minus 1. From here, we got this value of lambda. So, hope this is clear to all. Uh, today, whatever the questions we have discussed that were very good, that were lengthier, but were uh, more conceptual. So, I think this is all. Okay, this thank you uh, slide I have incorporated newly. So, uh, uh, this is all for today. And uh, we are done with this exercise. Uh, we will soon uh, come back with the next exercise of parabola. Till then, uh, take care. Okay, take care of, uh, of your health and study well. So thank you. Thank you all of you.